Let's start off with a look at things that happened this week in country music, including the top 10 songs on country radio. Coming in at number 10 is a North Carolina native. Out of his album called This One's For You, this is Luke Combs with his new hit, One Number Away. In my brain, dialing up everything I want to say, but I'm still one number away. That's Luke's third single from the album, and we think it could be the next number one. Number nine. Dan and Shay Tequila. When I taste tequila, baby, I still see ya. Cutting up the floor to sorority And coming in at number eight this week, country crooner, Brett Elton. Take me the long way around. Number seven. Chris Stapleton, Broken Halos. Play my share. Who really knows how to rock a beard? It's Jordan Davis. The right guy staring you back into your eyes right now. No rush, but if he ever singles you up. Coming in at number five this week is the former Feel Good number one song from Luke Bryan. Luke Bryan, most people are good. I believe most people are good and most mamas ought to qualify for sainthood. Thomas Rhett at number four with Mary. She don't marry me. Number three. Jason Aldean, you make it easy. You make it easy. Love love on you. Number two. I don't know how, I don't know how heaven, heaven could be better than you. And number one again this week, it's Florida Georgia Line with BB Rex. It is meant to be, it'll be, it'll be, baby, just let it be. Thanks a lot, Jill. Well, Sugarland revealed their new album called Bigger will drop June the 8th. And speaking of big, Taylor Swift is a guest performer on a track called Babe. It's the only one on the album that Sugarland didn't write. The song was co-written by Taylor Swift and Train's Pat Monahan. Jason Aldean back in the news. Now, not only was he nominated and won the ACM's Entertainer of the Year, Jason took some time out of his schedule to visit with some of the victims of the Las Vegas shooting. And a special heartwarming note when he took time to visit one lady who was recovering from a headshot wound, he even stopped by to give her an autographed guitar. Well done, Jason. If you're a fan of tailgating and you're a fan of Toby Keith, you're going to like this. Toby is going to host Tailgate Fest. For more information, log on to tailgatefest.com. Eric Church, along with Florida Georgia Line and Thomas Rhett, are set to host the Gulf Coast Pepsi Jam. Those three superstars, along with a bunch of their friends, are set to take the stage down in Florida later on this summer. For more details, log on to PepsiGulfCoastJam.com. We want to send a big congratulations out to Preston of Low Cash. He and his wife, Kristen, announced last week they are pregnant with their second child. He posted a photo on Instagram of them with their two-year-old daughter, Love. And he wrote this, and I'm quoting here. He says, with full hearts, we're excited to announce that we have a new roommate moving in in August. Hashtag August baby. Preston, congratulations. And while we're sending out congratulations, well, we want to say congratulations to Scotty and his fiance Gabby. They were at the ACMs, and then they were off to focus on their big wedding that is coming up. They said the countdown is on. The invitations are heading out, and we're doing tastings all next week. Scotty says one of his responsibilities will be to pick up the wine, so he'll be busy doing that. Congratulations to the lucky couple. That's your country music news. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and tell your friends.